<laughs> it's sunny. You? you know me. <laughs> How are you? Always. <laughs> Always. Number one. <laughs> I think we want to do the one day for six hours. For six hours, yes. yeah. And hopefully for sunset yeah. as well. Of course. After two full days of rain, we finally got sunshine. We're going on a long tail boat. All four of us. It costs 3,000 baht for a full day of six hour private long tail boat tour. So excited. They're usually all sorts of tour boats running, like some of those bigger ones that you can see over there. Uh, it seems like none of those have started back up quite yet. There's just not enough tourists here for that to make sense. So the only option to be able to go out and see all the beautiful islands out there, go and see the beach from the movie, The Beach, is with one of these private long tail boats. It's a little bit more expensive per person, but it's all for us. He just climbed into my lap. We have returned. Ready? <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Thank you. See you later. Picking up some ice. You guys ready? <laughs> and we're off. Just like that, we are off. We got a uh, private boat for just the four of us and perfect weather, <laughs> absolutely perfect weather. Yeah, it was pouring all yesterday and it was supposed to pour all week and Chacha called it. You are good luck for the sun. Perfect day. <laughs> Today's the day. Today's the day. We are off to do the full day tour which takes like six hours. We're going to go see uh, Maya Bay, the beach, uh, Shark Point, uh, Viking Cave, all sorts of places that I can't remember. They're all beautiful. We're gonna be doing a bunch of snorkeling in and out of the water a hundred times today. We should watch Leonardo DiCaprio's The Beach later. Okay, <laughs> we'll, we'll check that one out. I don't think that movie has a happy ending though. Oh, well good thing we're doing the happy ending today. <laughs> Truthfully, I'm at a bit of a loss for words about how I feel right now. And I know that doesn't happen a lot on this channel. <laughs> Almost never. <laughs> Almost never. Everything that's happened the past couple years, it just, uh, 
I really, really didn't think that I would ever be here doing this. A lot of the best memories that I have while traveling are all right here in Southeast Asia and like, just being able to against all odds, everything, to be here now, today with those awesome people and my wife here. It's, uh, it's overwhelming. And I think the coolest part about being in Thailand right now is that everything's just starting to reopen. You can definitely tell that the people here have been hit really hard since the pandemic. Everyone that we've met since we've got here has been so kind and so welcoming. Chacha, who organized all of this, she was so happy, so lovely, so funny, hilarious. And T, our boat drive, everyone's just so kind here. And this is just such an amazing place to be, Thailand. I'm not going out there. Not a chance. Mm -mm. No shot. I don't want to go to Monkey Beach. See ya. No shot staying Bye. right here. <laughs>Josh had some pretty bad encounters with some monkeys before. Got a bit of a confession. I am terrified of monkeys. So, uh, he's staying behind. There's a little monkey footprint. So, I gotta be honest here. Got a bit of a confession. I am terrified of monkeys. So there was this time when I was in Langkawi, maybe 2011, 2012, and we went to this area called Monkey Park. And we went into the park, me and my friend, we were kind of riding around on motorbikes on the island. We went into the park and there was nothing there. It was totally fine, no monkeys. Beautiful beach though. And we start walking a little bit further and further in and we see two monkeys wrestling, kind of right in the middle of the park. And what I didn't know at the time that I learned later is that I uh, made eye contact with apparently the alpha male monkey and that was a big, big, big mistake. The two monkeys stopped wrestling, screech at the top of their lungs, start, called out all their boys who then swung out of the trees. There were hundreds of monkeys and they literally chased us all the way out of the park back to our motorbikes. We're back at our motorbikes. I'm trying to get my helmet on as this giant pack of monkeys is running at us as fast as they possibly can. I finally turn the scooter on and then the monkey jumps on my back and starts beating on my helmet with his hands. Ever since then I've had quite a uh, quite a severe fear of monkeys. We're at Monkey Beach right now and I ain't going anywhere near that. Not only that, but one time when I was in uh, Kuala Lumpur at the super big, the super big Kekloxi, I think is what it's called, the uh, the really big cave. We were visiting the caves and you gotta go up this really huge set of stairs to get to the top. And at the top, there's a guy selling ice cream, which is just perfect because you've just climbed like 500 steps to get to the top. And the thing that you want is definitely ice cream. Before I could even get my first bite into it, I turn around, a monkey reaches up, grabs my ice cream from me, sprints all the way up to somewhere that I couldn't reach him way up high and just stares at me as he eats my ice cream. Monkeys are jerks, man. See, I told you. I, I know. Told you he stole food. I know. Look at, now they're arguing. Look at, look at, it's ruining their relationship. <laughs> Three, two, one. He just told us there are sharks over there in that cave. Status update, no sharks. He decided, but lots of big old fish down there.
that's our boat. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, pointy rocks in this section. This place is pretty, pretty cool. I never want to leave. Every time we stop, I think it can't get prettier than this. And then, and then I'm proven wrong. This one's lost on that. I think this definitely tops the best thing that we've done on our entire trip so far. So the next stop is the beach from the movie The Beach with a much younger Leonardo DiCaprio. It's called Maya Bay here and it's, you'll see. Last stop of the day, I don't want it to end. <laughs> so we're in Maya Bay in this beach back there. Apparently this beach is closed until I think early next year is what I gather, but uh, it's been closed for two or three years just for cleaning the whole thing. Uh, I'm excited to see it once it's fully cleaned off. The most amazing thing is that usually when you come here there's boats everywhere, people everywhere, snorkeling, doing all sorts of stuff, but now it's, it's four of us. Okay. 